With the job done at the track for the day, it was time for Logano to get better acquainted with his fans. They get through a lot of store appearances for the Home Depot. We usually do one at each racetrack that we get to go to, so uh, I have fun with it. It's cool to meet a lot of fans, and it's neat. Warren was telling me he came to six of these last year. Yeah. Holy cow. I remember you. I six oh, yeah. you that. Six times last year. <laughs> Been here since 7 o'clock. I heard. That's crazy. Right, man. Oh, man, thanks. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. And you? It is a wide variety of people you get to meet. And that's probably one of the coolest things. You know, you, just, you have to get to meet a lot of different people, you know, through the whole thing. So uh, it makes it fun. You know, I joke around and have fun with everyone as, as usual. Because I got all the ones that have the 20 on them. I guess it used to be mine. <laughs> got all your wins here. I, I think it's the coolest thing if someone wants my autograph. You know, to me, I'm, you know, the same Joey Logano that I used to be when I was racing Legends cars. You know, that no one knew who I was. I like it all. <laughs> no, it's cool to come out here in the beginning of the year like now and uh, see all the new stuff and, and all the stuff I haven't seen yet either. So, of course, Logano's Paisano's is probably my favorite. <laughs> it's great to have Joey out here, with, the, especially with the fans. The fan support is so important for Joey, and being so young, it gives him a lot of confidence. We're very proud of him, the way he handles the fans. Smile. <laughs> well, I used to be really involved in his racing and trying to guide him along, but now he's surrounded by great people, Joe Gibbs Racing, and uh, so my job, only left to do now is to keep him grounded, keep him, keep things realistic, have him stop throwing pins at me when I do interviews. Uh, it's pretty cool to see uh, how many fans you have, and it's pretty neat, and you know, when it comes down to it, we're not going to be anything without them, so, uh, you know, it's the least we can do to uh, appreciate the fans. The bond between a race team and their fans is exemplified by the loyalty that Wheat and Kathy Hughes of Lakeland, Florida show Joe Gibbs Racing. I'm passionate for Joe Gibbs Racing. The collection I have now has been about 10 years. You know, bits and pieces along the year. It's been a, a labor of love. This is my small way of supporting them. It's nice to consider them as part of the family. When, when we go into the shop, it's it's not like we're going into a, a, a strange place. It's like almost like we're coming home. We have several cats we named after uh, the driver. Denny, who we named after Denny Hamlin. Then we have a big hail ball we named Zippy after Greg Zippardelli, the crew chief. They're now understanding Sunday, it's race day. Let's go out and watch the TV. And they basically sleep through the race. We've got our eye on a couple kitties out back that um, we'd like to bring in and get a, a Joey and Kyle in here. When we're driving, it, it's like kids will be looking and waving. And, like, they think we're somebody important, I guess. I get a lot of thumbs up, and I also get a lot of thumbs down. It depends on who driving up alongside of me. Watching the races, we're keeping an eye on the the uh, Joe Gibbs cars. I'm screaming, go Danny, go Danny, and I'm jumping up and down. All my neighbors were a little concerned. I said, no, it's race, race weekend. So if you hear us yelling on Sunday, don't worry about it. It just will into it. When the season comes to an end, we're like, well, what are we going to watch now? It's a long two months. And we watch um, old videotapes of racing. That helps us get through. Kyle Busch dominates in Bristol. This week with Daytona, we'll be glued to the TV set, watching every moment of that race from start to finish. We're excited. We're really looking forward to it. If uh, Denny or Kyle or Joey could pull off the uh, Daytona 500, you, we're definitely going to be celebrating. We'll be screaming and yelling and making sure all our flags are out front and just popping the champagne bottles. <laughs>